Ah, what's up everybody? My name is Russ with OWGResearch.com. Today is 12.28. It just clicked. 10 p.m. My buddy Richard's in the background here hanging out with me. Today, we're going to unbox some stuff. So, two different videos. First one, we're going to unbox this bad boy. Not just one box, two boxes. So I got two boxes here, both from Tektronics. This is the equipment we're going to be using to do all of our experiments from here on out. And uh, I'm ready. I'm excited about this because these guys will do the trick. I think there's one missing part in here, but uh, most of it's in here. So anytime you open a Tektronics box, you know there's got to be something good in there. At least you hope there's something good in this one. So, let's get it all out. Here is the uh, parts list. Parts list, Tektronix, um, probe stuff. Four of the regular probes for this scope. These are TPP0500Bs. So, one for each channel. Good US power cord bag. Uh, looks like an RF plug and a probe kit of some kind. And you've got the user's manual and the uh, firmware list. So that's that. Ooh, pretty. This is the new instrument for the lab. By the way, if you haven't noticed, I'm in a completely random lab in the middle of Nevada somewhere. Yeah, you'll figure it out one day, but for now, this is what we got. So there it is. Let's see what it is. Woo! Look at that bad boy. That is a pretty scope. So, this is not just an oscilloscope, it's a mixed domain oscilloscope. It has an RF frequency analyzer in it, and it has also a arbitrary function generator. I believe it also do a digital multimeter functions, and it is four channel, and we are going to be using it to precisely and accurately measure current voltage, RF, and anything else that we can do with it. So the other box is all the probes. We shall open the other box. Wow, let's look at the back real quick. So, the back has a few extra options. We'll get a close up here, but uh, the one I like is it's got video output, VGA video output, so we can hook this up to a big monitor, which is there. So when we do all the live streaming, uh, we can actually have a camera there, or you can get an, an input for the, to the computer, which are, those are expensive, but you can get one, feed it right into there. You cannot, uh, put this directly into the computer and, and stream the screen. It doesn't, this one doesn't work that way. But yeah, this is a mixed domain. This particular model number is an MD04024C. All right, let's see what probes we got in the other box. We'll set this aside. Glad it's got a good cover, because I like to keep my instruments in a box, so that'll keep me from getting it dirty. But I can also keep it out. I'll just set this aside, look at it in a minute. The other box is even bigger. Oh. All right. Wow, an unboxing video from Tektron. Gotta like that. These instruments are not my personal instruments, but they will be used for purposes of my experiments as well as others experiments. Oh yeah. Beautiful. Alright. See what we got here. Set this stuff out. Probes. RF kit most likely. Yeah. 
before. Oh man, it just this box just keeps going. Just keeps going. Alright. Oh no. Okay, wow. Yeah. Very good, very good. So these uh these were all labels to someone else apparently. Where shall we start? With my knife. Okay. So this guy, this is probably the power analysis software. Installation guide. And there it is. Software key. So this is the power analysis software. This is very handy. I had it on the other scope I use, but I don't have access to that scope. So uh, now we have a, a different scope. Read this first, okay? Read that first, okay. What else we got? Don't worry, there's nothing else in that box. I wouldn't be throwing good equipment around. <laughs> Okay, next. Aha, so this is the 16 channel digital inputs. So there is a 16 digital inputs for this guy. And uh, that's that module right there. Oh yeah, upgrade sticker. We shall put that on. Okay, because you can actually upgrade this scope. It's 200 megahertz, by the way. You can actually upgrade this scope. Um, at any time, all the way up to, I think above a gigahertz, maybe just a one gigahertz. But this one is only 200 megahertz. You get the one gigahertz and the price goes up tremendously and it's not necessary in my opinion. All right, next key. All right, so this guy, this is the RF triggering module. Yeah, lots of modules to install. Okay, next, what do we got? Man, there's a lot of boxes. I like to keep my boxes. This could be troublesome. Oh, another empty box. Okay, this is another module. Uh, this is the MDO4AF. So this is probably the frequency generator module. Let's see what the sticker says. Upgrade sticker. Wonder if the other box has a sticker. We'll look for it later. Okay, what's next? This is probably current probe. Important documents. Do not discard. Oh cool. They come in their own case. That's really nice. So this most likely is one of the two current probes. Now these are very good probes. So we'll get close-ups later. Uh, this is the TCP-0030A. Oh good, it's got a bigger diameter than I expected, so that's helpful. So this is actually 120 megahertz down to somewhere around 2.4 or 2.8 nanosecond rise and fall times. And it'll go down to 0.1, I'm sorry, one microamp. Milliamp. Uh, oh, one milliamp. Yes, one milliamp. Thanks for that call. Uh, and it'll also go up to uh, 30 amps. So it's a really high-tech piece of equipment. And I'm a very blessed person to be able to use this equipment. So, yeah. Thank you uh, for that. I don't want to throw that one. <laughs> okay, next. That's another one. I'm not going to open them both. Okay, this guy. Aha, this is the differential probe. Now, there is only one of these. There shall be another. Apparently, we did not order it. So, this is a high voltage differential probe. So, this guy is the THDP0100. It will do 6,000 volts peak. So, 12,000 volts peak to peak. And I believe 100 megahertz. So, high voltage probe ends there. There should be another one of these. Uh, apparently, we failed to get it ordered or something. And uh, we'll have to get that ordered because it's supposed to be two of those. 
And then the other one. So, uh, I didn't open this, did I? There's all kinds of boxes. Oh, we were looking for some of that. Watch out. Oh, I know what's in this one. This is the last good piece of kit that we need for this. This is the RF probe kit. So I need this to isolate RF transmission in the system. Calibrated. So uh, we'll get some close-ups of this. These are the different types of, of RF probes. Spherical. Some of these are for E field and some are for the B field. So magnetic and electric. And what you can do is these are directional. So depending on how you hold them, where you put them, we can actually trigger that with the RF on the scope. We can align all that with the current voltage RF. We can determine really what is going on and the uh, 16 channel um, analog or digital input was a free upgrade option until December 31st. So it was just free. Lucky us, I know. Power software and the RF triggering, all three of those were completely free due to their uh, current, well, by the time you watch this, last year's um, upgrade, uh, what do they call that, promotion. So, wow, okay. So, let's get a close up of this, shall we? Need to get that other probe. All right, peoples. Uh, I just wanted to give you a quick close up of this guy and uh, I will not be demoing this for you. I'm just going to show you what it looks like. So there's lots and lots of options. So the um, the different types of probes that need power actually get powered from the actual inputs here, which is really nice. Um, so you can see what the, the label is up there on the top. USB, USB, power button, some utility buttons, four channel. Uh, this is not an isolated scope. Uh, so I, I got the differential isolated probe for that reason. Um, and it, like I said, it, it's got uh, the RF frequency input, a real RF analyzer, which is amazing because that's really important. And then the back here, this says AFG out, auxiliary out, and uh, reference in. 10 megahertz, 7 volt peak to peak max reference in. There's a landline. You can, you can grab data from it via this uh, network port. You can also grab it from here, uh, but you cannot stream to the computer. And then here you got the uh, the video out, which this is really, really great because I want to be able to, d to display this on a nice big monitor, and I can finally do that. So originally I'd prefer having it streamed to the computer, then I can pull it to the stream, but I can't. So I just will figure it out. You can buy, like I said, an attachment for that, but it's very, they're like literally like a thousand bucks. I have no idea why a VGA input to USB is so expensive, but you guys find one, let me know. So yeah, we'll fire this puppy up. We got all these modules to install. Um, I'll show you the probes real quick on a close-up just so you got them as reference. All right, real quick, just a bit of close-ups for you. Here's the RF probe kit. Different, uh, different probes for different things. This is the model number in case you're really wanting to know. Then we've got the uh, MDO 4A FG upgrade and the MDO MS uh, O upgrade. That's the 16 channel input. Uh, I believe that is the frequency generator. This is the power analysis software. And this one here is the uh, RF triggering, which will be useful to link to sync up the RF with other things. So next on the list, real quick here, we got the uh, differential probe. So that's what it looks like few uh, calibration buttons and different uh, settings and different things like that and then it has a, uh, a whole attachment that goes on the front side of the scope there with some high voltage leads and pretty big high voltage attachments there next current probe so again it's got a uh, range a menu and all the buttons are on here and it's powered here and here's what the probe looks like. It's pretty interesting how this opens up. Can get your wire in. 
really locks it down. And then the 16 channel isolated, or 16 channel digital input, excuse me. So these plug into the front of the scope and uh, then you've got your 16 channel digital. And last but not least, these standard probes that it came with. These are not isolated, so I gotta be a little careful. Yeah, hopefully that's enough close-ups for you. Okay, well I hope the camera was rolling earlier, because if it wasn't, then you have no idea what all this crap is. But basically, uh, this is not my personal equipment. This is equipment that is going to be used for uh, research. And so, uh, we shall use it. So, yeah, I'm just blessed to be able to use it and have access to it and uh, happen to be able to unbox it. So, I did. All right, God bless you guys. Don't forget, read the Bible more. Just do it, you know. You'll thank me later. You'll figure it out one day. I know. You don't have to be a religious person to read the Bible. You just need to be faithful because it will drive you in the right direction and you'll have your own conclusions. Don't take my word for it. All right, peace and love. God bless. I got another box to open. You might want to watch the next video too. It's just as exciting. <laughs>